Good day. In this video, we're going to look at the introduction to conversions, mainly looking at measurement of length and how you can memorize how many millimeters in the centimeter or how it fits together, how big is a millimeter, and so on. If there is any special request that you have for videos to be made, please send an email to this address or send an SMS to this with what you want made, and we will try and make you a video as soon as possible. Enjoy the video. Right, here we have a table, I do, it's not part of this video, I just want to show you that here is four sets of conversions that you might learn. I know of quite a few people who like to learn it, don't. Intention of this video is to show you, especially on this side, how to remember how many millimeters is in a centimeter. Of course, if you know that, this is the wrong video to watch, get the next one. Enjoy, and let's see how it goes. Uh, this is just to show you, you can't, here is 16 different conversions that you could learn. But, I would rather work it out each time. If I can work something out, then nobody can take it away from me. Or I can't forget it. So that's what the intention is. We're going to introduce this to you. And then on the next video, we'll take length, the next one mass, the next one um, volume. And after you understand length, we will start doing area conversions. But if you don't understand length, you can't do the area conversions unless you learn everything which I don't want to do. Enjoy the video further and let's see what goes on. But firstly, we need to find out how big a millimeter is. A millimeter can be found on your ruler. If you look on a ruler, a millimeter is the smallest distance you can see between two little lines there. There are 10, 10 millimeters in that distance, and that is one centimeter, and like there's 15 centimeters here. But to do it yourself is you can take your fingers and put them on top of each other and the moment you open it up and you can see light through there that's the distance of a millimeter and we have to find out how big a millimeter is then you will see there's 10 of them fitting into that centimeter this is not this is a, a, I made this smaller so you must look at your own ruler but that is how big one millimeter is and then again in one centimeter there will be 10 of these millimeters you can actually count them. So if somebody asks you, I don't memorize it. I go to my ruler. I quickly remember, ah, yes, it's 10. And I've got that answer covered. The next one is how big is a centimeter? If you put your two fingers on top of each other and you push the other one in between and just slip it out, that's a bigger hole over there. So that's around about a centimeter. We're not going exactly now. We just want to get a feeling on a specific size. So a centimeter is the distance after you pulled out your finger from in between your other two fingers. So that's round about a centimeter. Let's look at it on the ruler. You will see that that distance that we had over there, there it fits in over there. So that's one centimeter, two, three, four. So from there to there is one centimeter and from there to there. And like we said just now, in between there and there is one centimeter with ten millimeters in between. So that one's going to be easy in future because we can look at our ruler and count them again. So there's 10 millimeters in one centimeter. And that makes it easy. And here's 15 centimeters over here. If you look at the other side, it's upside down. There's 150 millimeters because each one centimeter has 10 millimeters in between. The next distance you need to understand is one meter. Now here I took a measuring tape. That's what your grandpa or father might use in the garden. There is a measuring tape made of cloth that your the ladies usually use to make clothes and things for measurement. And there I have an official one meter meter stick. But you can't see that so well, so you'll have to get one of these or let somebody show it. Or if you visit people, ask them if they've got one and look at it. And you'll see from there to there is one meter then. And a hundred centimeters will fit in here. You have to look at this and count them once or twice in your life to get a feeling on this that there is 100 centimeters in this meter. That's our main distances we're going to work with. So here I wrote out the basic conversions that we need to understand. We said you're going to look at the centimeter on the ruler and count the 10 millimeters in between, so we don't learn that one. What we might have to learn is that one meter is 100 centimeters. Work on this one, it's always like, to me, like in one rand, there's 100 cents, they are related. And then one meter is 1,000 millimeters. This is a big number, that's why you need to go to that measuring tape and count all the millimeters for me, just until you get a grasp on it. In the next video, I will start using a table that will connect all this information, but I'm going to just show it to you now quickly. So, 
we get millimeters, meters, and kilometers, milliliters, liters, and kiloliters, milligram, gram, and kilograms, and tons. And all these conversions is a thousand millimeters in a meter that we got up here. Something that we must just learn then is a thousand meters make a kilometer. Like I wrote here, a thousand millimeters make a meter, a thousand milliliters a liter, a thousand milligrams a gram. 1,000 meters a kilometer, 1,000 liters a kiloliter, 1,000 grams a kilogram, and then 1,000 kilograms makes a ton. That's not so difficult to remember. And then the exceptions is that if we convert centimeters to meters, it's at 100. And like in a century, and like centimeters to millimeters or the other way around, we can find that on our ruler. Let's try if we can get this. Then we can understand the next videos. Goodbye and have a nice day.